use the view cube to orient your model. I have opened up the assembly file stapler.iam. The view cube is located in the top right hand corner of our graphics area by default. The view cube has six faces, each of those faces representing a standard orthographic view of our part. Select the front face of the view cube to switch to this view. Select the right side face to rotate to the right side of the part. I have two other rotation tools and I can left click on those to rotate the stapler or rotate it back. While a face is selected, the rotate tools become available. Let's try it. In addition to the six faces, I have eight corner points that will establish what we might consider as standard isometric views. Let's try it by selecting a few corners. There are 12 edge views. Again, let's try them. Another thing I can do is select the view cube while holding down the left mouse button. The view cube now becomes similar to the orbit tool and I can rotate the part using the view cube to whichever position I like. Notice that the edges of my view cube provide a visual indicator to let you know if you are not in one of the standard views. The edges will appear dotted when not set to an orthographic view. The view cube also has a bit of a snap quality to help you orbit to an edge, face, or corner of the cube. This snap behavior can be turned on or off. Another item to notice is that the ground shadow does not display when viewing the model from underneath. Notice that there is no shadow. By selecting the right mouse button, I can open the view cube menu. Here you can redefine your views. For example, you may wish to redefine the home view. Reorient the model so you can set a new home view. When selecting home view, the model view will return to the view you just saved. I would encourage you to experiment with each of these options. Select options from the right mouse button menu or select the down chevron beneath the view cube. The options menu will allow you to customize the behavior of your view cube. Select Show Compass below View Cube. Select OK. You can restore the defaults at any time. Right click, select Options, and select Restore Defaults. Select OK.